Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shima and this is In Plain Sight to Roll. And I'm back with another pick a card reading for you guys. And this time around, this pick a card reading is going to be about what you need to hear the most about yourself right now. What you need to hear the most about yourself, your situation, whatever it is, okay? But I heard what you need to hear the most about yourself, okay? So we only have like a few cards left. I'm just gonna <laughs> shuffle them the best I can. We're gonna get straight into the piles, okay? And as you can see, I've pre-picked uh, three piles uh, beforehand and I haven't looked at these uh, piles yet. So I'll be looking at them the first time with you guys on screen. One more. What you need to hear about yourself the most right now. Pal number one, pal number two, pal number three. Right, so pal number one, we have maktu, pal number one, Pile number two, we have perception. Pile number three, we have reflection. Okay, so pile number one, maktub. Pile number two, perception. Pile number three, reflection. Once you guys are ready, um, we can go ahead and, uh, well, you can go ahead and choose your timestamps down below in the description box. Um, and uh, yeah, we can get straight into pile number one, okay? Pile number one. You chose Makto. What do you need to hear the most about yourself at this time? So Makto basically in Arabic, I think it means it is written or it is fated. It is written, it is fated, it is meant to be or Makto. Um, I think in Malay, we use this word too. I think it also means to surrender, maktu or termaktu. Yeah, it's it's fated. It's something like that, right? So you're fated for something. You you're fated for a lot of things, and you have put. Um, Give me a second, you guys. I'm hearing you've put a lot of work into yourself. And you know that something is fated for you. But there's something that you're not looking at. It's like you're turning away from something that's fated for you. You know? You don't want to look at it. Or you're afraid. Someone here is afraid of success. Someone here is, you're not afraid of it per se, like it's scary or anything, but you, I'm hearing there's something about imposter syndrome, there's something about you feeling like, whoever you are, you know you deserve it. You know you can have it. You know you may have wanted it, whatever this is, this is fated for you in the past but <clears throat> for some reason you yourself are delaying it um, because you don't know if you want it anymore you've gone through so much growth 
you worked on yourself so much so now you're <laughs> it's almost like you can see what's fated for you but you're just like you know you're trying I don't know how to explain this feeling it's not like you're not looking at it you're just it's almost like you're deliberately delaying it but you know it's for you this could be something big like I said this could be like big success but it's almost like maybe you're afraid of handling big success or handling handling something bigger than you've ever handled before you know and it, this is not something that's troublesome I'm hearing like this is something that is good for you it's it's for some because I'm hearing here we have the alchemical symbols for I think that's mercury in the middle uh, salt and sulfur I think that's it okay sulfur okay I'm hearing mind body and soul you've put yourself through like and for those of you who understand alchemy you would know you've put yourself through a lot of situations to put yourself through growth I think you see this now for my alchemists out there there's something that is fated and you wrote this fate for yourself and you know it's something big you know it's something that is I'm looking at this this as a black door you know you might think that oh if I pass that threshold there's something about you if I walk through that door uh, there's no turning back it's almost like you're you're having difficulty letting go of your comfort zone a little bit because you've worked hard to get to your comfort zone maybe you've had a lot of difficulties in the past you know like maybe you in this comfort zone of yours you were able to take your time rest you didn't have to answer to anyone you and you're comfortable doing that you do not want to answer to anyone this is what I'm hearing you don't want to answer to anyone and maybe that's why you are a little bit afraid of I'm, I'm not saying afraid but it's it's not afraid it's it's what's the word reluctant that's the word you're a bit reluctant on fame and fortune because if if you you're 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 fine being in charge of yourself because you only have yourself to answer to you know you do not want to answer to anyone you don't want a boss I'm hearing like whoever this is you do not want to answer to a boss you don't want to answer to people you want to live life on your own terms but then you understand that fame and fortune come with having to there's an element of having to please others there is an element of having to people please you know especially when you are in the public eye you're pleasing someone and you're displeasing others you know so you have like this choice to 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 make whether you you want to compromise <laughs> a little bit of people pleasing but I'm hearing pal number one you don't have to compromise anything what is fated for you is fated for you you know like what is written for you it's it's written you're fated for it anyways and sometimes you know this is what I hear like the people who who <laughs> I don't know what I'm seeing like I'm being I'm saying I'm hearing like not right now like superhero movies right usually the superheroes are the ones that don't want don't necessarily want to be superheroes and they don't want the responsibility of having to save the world and this and that you know but I'm not saying that you you have a responsibility to, to save the world but it's it's like you, 
you don't have the responsibility but it's written <laughs> I don't know how else to see it fame fortune success mind body and soul um, is written for you but you it's, it's almost like you you've been hiding yourself you know you've been you've been comfortable sitting in the dark you've been comfortable sitting in the background you've been comfortable doing your work from the background you know and it took you a lot to get to this comfortable space and I'm hearing like people outside of you or 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 the people that you I don't know there's something about you hearing outsiders okay when I say outsiders it means anyone other than yourself okay outsiders are saying like you need to push yourself you, you, you you're wasting this or you're wasting time or you you have to do this you have to do that you have to do this and you're like I answer to fucking no one I don't want to answer to anyone yeah I'm also hearing that some some of you are very hyper independent which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time I'm not saying a bad thing but it can it's it, there's pros and cons to being hyper independent right yeah it's like you're almost at this door I'm saying like this is a door you're almost at this door but you're like do you want to go through it or not I know I can I know I can. It's, this, it's not a matter of you. It's not a matter of you not knowing that or whether you can do this or not. You fucking know you can. You just don't know if you want to. <laughs> but everyone around you is saying, like, you should do this or you should do that. Or, you know, you're wasting your talents, time, energy on blah, 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 and all this and that, right? But you have other plans. I'm hearing like you might you might have other plans for yourself. Right? So there's an element of I want to be there for people, but I don't want to people please. I want to be there for myself. But if I want to put myself, if I want to walk through that door, then I have to do it for me, only me. I'm not doing it for others yeah okay so we have limitation okay we have Saturn limitation Saturn <laughs> so I think like you're limiting yourself you know you can have more you can see it you've already written it it's already written that you are meant to have more but it's almost like you are almost like deliberately limiting yourself okay fascination and anxiety <laughs> this is exactly okay this is what I'm saying fascination you know you're gonna have like a whole your your whole reality changes after you walk through that door right once you walk through that door once you walk into this new reality or once you step into this new reality you know that everything is going to change and it's, it fascinates you it also gives you a little bit of anxiety like what if I want to go back What if I'm happy, you know, <laughs> being comfortable? And we have appreciation, yeah, appreciation and sadness. That's cancer energy. We have the king of pentacles. We have uh, communication. have the rebel you have death I'm put that there we have well okay so I'm gonna put pain in the middle and then I'm gonna put success at the end okay This is, this is going to be a little bit of a deep, 
message pal number one this is about you knowing that you can have more knowing that you you know that you deserve more you know that you deserve better than this because wherever it is you that you are you are at you are in pain and it's almost like you are so comfortable already with the pain you know you're 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 too you're getting too comfortable with your pain you know that you deserve more you deserve success and again you know this this uh the the death card means dying to your old self you walking through that door means you dying to your old self but you're limiting yourself and maybe i don't know if you are limiting yourself in terms of finances maybe this is not necessarily just fame but stability and finances like more finances for yourself <coughs> <clears throat> yeah but you're limiting it's almost like you're deliberately this is like a form of self-sabotage but it's almost like you know that you're doing it it's not like you know you don't know that you're doing it I'm getting this energy of like someone who exercises so much patience with their pain because they, you know, because you know, you know that whatever you, it, it's, it's, it's not being done in vain. Whatever you're going through is not being done in vain. You know this. And you've been transforming yourself and you're right at the door. You're, you're at the precipice of your full like transformation, which means that you have you are about to die to your old self and you are actually you've been in the process of grieving your old self but at the same time you know you're 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 kind of i don't know there's there's a bit of like a bittersweet energy where you feel like you 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 miss your old life you know even though even though you experience a lot of pain but all this pain is what brought you all this pain is what brought you success you have a look at this it says pruning the roots go to the root of the matter and find out what needs to be cut back limitation now can create expansion later connect with the part of yourself that is self-sufficient practical and experienced oh my god oh my god all right so limitation can it create expansion later you're limiting yourself you're deliberately limiting yourself because you know that if you push that if you, you don't even have to push forwards pal number one this is like <laughs> it's for you it's going to be effortless once you walk through that door your success is effortless like effortless but you've been putting in you've been so comfortable with putting in so much effort that it's almost hard for you to step back and just take one more step through the door and that's it you you you're you're going to experience a lot of success and look at this okay you appreciate your sadness appreciation or sadness okay you appreciate the pain that you've been through or that you you will be able to right now maybe maybe you're you're saying like what the fuck is she talking about me appreciating my pain like i'm i'm, I'm in fucking pain i understand pal number one <laughs> right I understand right the anger the pain or whatever it is but <laughs> you're not meant to feel this pain forever but it's almost like you're so comfortable and pain pain I don't mean like physical pain I mean like I don't know the pain of staying where you are the pain of um, not knowing what to do the pain of there there's a lot of diff different kinds of pain okay the pain of anxiety right that's virgo energy virgo and cancer and then taurus virgo capricorn aries leo sagittarius Right, those are the signs that I'm seeing at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
you are at the door to your new reality, but you're not sure whether you want to step through yet, per se, because you're, you've, you've been so comfortable in your pain and sadness, and you, you, it's almost like appreciation of your sadness, appreciation of your pain. I think it would be a good idea for you to write a love letter to yourself. You may have found yourself filled with gratitude recently. This is a rich and fulfilling time. But if instead you have been yearning to ease somber feelings, consider that giving thanks can make you happier. Experiment by giving, by writing a thank you note to yourself. Maybe you've been writing a lot. Maybe you've been journaling a lot. Or maybe you've been creating art. Because what I see here is like she's painting her own face or something. Or is she? Yeah, she is. She's painting her own face. Okay. So maybe through this pain, this is what I'm hearing, like, out of this pain, you're going to be able to create a lot of... The, your content comes from the pain that you've been through, okay? The difficulties and the pains. Let's, let's not call it pain. Difficulty, like, um, any challenges, right? Challenges that you've been through has, has made you able to put out meaningful art or creations all right some of you could be writers poets lyricists you could be artists you could be yeah artists draw you draw you paint you write But you've been, you, you know, you've been showing so much appreciation and gratitude for your, your present moment that you're asking yourself, like, if I really feel comfortable here, what, what else do I want? It's almost like, like, I don't want anything. I'm fine here, you know? I'm fine. I'm fine where I'm at. But really, you're not fine, you know, because it's almost like you're constantly seeing. Maybe you're you you you're constantly seeing visions of you doing bigger things, okay? Doing bigger things, or making bigger things, or or reaching more people, or something. There's something. There's a goal. There's something that you're going for, or some sort of, of success with the King of uh, Pentacles and the the success here, the success card, and the Rebel. You're rebelling against something. Someone you could be from Sweden. Yeah. There's something that that <laughs> there's also like appreciation for your rebellious nature, okay? You maybe were rebelling against certain people, situations, workplaces, I don't know what you were rebelling against, right, in the past. But now you, you even have an appreciation of you being the rebel. Fill me with aggression. Yeah, you could have had a lot of aggression in the past, right, towards others. But all of this, all of the stuff that you've been through, anything that you've been through that has put you through a lot and that has challenged you to, to I don't know, change or challenged you to rebel, challenged you to, to, to make or create movement, all of that is going to add up to your success. You are all you need. You are all I need. Yeah, you are all I need. You are all you need. When it comes to the success. Communication. 
Maybe you're meant to communicate to others or you want to communicate to others about what you've been through, about your change, about your transformation here. Dying to the old self, talking about dying to the old self, you know? There's an element of fascination with your new self, but also an element of anxiety that comes with it. A woodpecker bores through tree bark. Your capacity to drill into the details may be resulting in an exciting and energizing feeling of fascination, or it may be causing you to overthink things and feel anxious. If the latter is the case, it might be helpful to broaden your perspective. Yeah, you communicating all of this is going to help broaden your perspective on why, I don't know, why, why you have to make change or why people are constantly having to, I don't know, being pushed towards change. Either you're pushed or you flow with it, you know? Maybe some of you resisted it in the past, right? Too much resistance can also cause pain. Too much, you know, going in the flow causes carelessness, which also, at the, in the end, can cause pain, you know? So you're... You're, I don't know whether you have been learning to find a balance, right? Between your fascination and anxiety. Success doesn't necessarily have to always come with pain. Yes, a lot of people, you know, if you talk, if you if you speak to successful people, all of them talk about, oh, I had to work hard, I had to go through this, I had to go through that. But, you know, maybe you're here to teach others that you don't necessarily have to go through pain or see pain in some as something that is uh, what do you call it that limits you, you know. Appreciate the sad times too. Appreciate your sadness. And I keep telling this to everyone. I know like in the Law of Assumption community, like a lot of you, like you would really rather not talk about, you know, being sad and being down and all of this. But you know, there is beauty in sadness. The people that you find around you that have the most depth are the people the most depth are the people you find yourself to be most fulfilling, having most fulfilling encounters with. You have most fulfilling conversations with. You have most fulfilling relationships with people with depth. If you, I mean, and those who have depth have, yeah, have had to face a lot of pain in their lives but being able to come up come out the other side and you are going to be able to do that part number one but it's almost like you're so comfortable already with what you've been through that you are a little reluctant on your own success even though you know you know for a fact that you can have it you know for a fact that it's yours you've written it for yourself I'm hearing it's it is written it is written someone here you've been journaling or, or writing a lot a love letter to yourself yeah fight every day fighting your anxiety limitation but you know at the end of, end of the day it's really it's really up to you like I said you answer to no one you answer to no one you answer to no one but yourself 
You don't have to answer to anyone. If you really look at it from a higher perspective, you do not have to answer to anyone. It doesn't matter who the fuck it is in this world. You don't have to answer to anyone. Okay? Yeah. There will come a point where you don't want to limit yourself anyone anymore. How number one, but only you would know that. Only you would know that moment where you tell yourself, you know what, I am not going to limit myself anymore. Only you know this. Okay? So, pile number one, I'm going to end the reading there. That's what you should, that's the thing that you should know most about yourself. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, please do remember to like comment share subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading from me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for all the comments for every single thing i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and i will see you in my next video okay bye hi part number two you guys chose perception Give me a sec, let me just cleanse the energies. Okay. Right, so you guys chose perception, pile number two. Some of you may have been, you know, recently a little bit weepy, maybe you've been in your feels a little bit. Some of you, whether you're a masculine or feminine energy, maybe you've been feeling a little, not to say down in the dumps, but somewhat discouraged. I don't know. There's something about feeling... Maybe nostalgic, that's what I'm hearing. Nostalgic about the past or something. Um, perception. Someone here has been feeling a little bit uh, nostalgic, maybe looking back at memories and, you know. I'm hearing like, looking back at your old self, I'm hearing. Um, you are, with this shell here, I'm hearing, feminine energy you know like um venus i'm hearing venus i'm hearing you're 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 a little bit in your feminine energy at the moment which is not a bad thing maybe you're in the receiving mode at this time but when you are in this the receiving mode when you are receptive you might also be receptive to you know emotions that are coming up you know for you to release from the past if you are i don't know pile number two if you have been you know afraid of crying or you have you 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 don't maybe you don't like to cry because i'm seeing this 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 here is a, actually a statue it's actually like a, a yeah it's like a marble carving and you know it's like a stone marble carving and something that stone is cold so maybe you've been i'm not saying that you're cold <laughs> i'm not saying that you're cold at all but maybe you have been suppressing some emotions um in regards to things from the past in regards to anything anything at all that might be coming up for you right now you're meant to release okay and you're meant to have a different perception on on why you're feeling these emotions it doesn't mean that you're depressed it doesn't mean that you are sad and weak and um, not, it's none of that okay I always have to, to, to keep reminding myself and others that crying is not weakness crying does not mean that you are 
you know weak or you're feeling weak or whatever it is it is your body's normal response to cleansing to your your, your body wants to release something your body knows what it's doing your subconscious knows what it's doing your subconscious is cr controlling every single cell in this body of yours right every single atom that that makes up your whole body so if a body is designed to cry then why not use your body's internal system to to release it's, it's how your body releases emotions that's just how i see it i don't need a scientific fucking explanation <laughs> as to explain to me why humans cry you cry because you feel certain emotions those emotions are meant to be released because if you don't release those emotions you're su suppressing them if you suppress them it 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 okay stagnant water if water you, if if you're crying you're crying tears right you're crying water tears salt water right i believe that in tears whatever it is that you're 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 releasing you're releasing stuff that your body doesn't need anymore you know it's like pissing through your eyes <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> you're not going to hold in your pee right if you need to pee you need to pee if, if someone needs to go to the toilet and needs to pee, you're not going to hold it in and suppress your pee until, you know, you start getting, like, what, those those pee stones and what what do you call it? Bladder stones or pee, <laughs> pee stones? Yeah, whatever it is that happens, you're not going to hold that in. If you, if you need to release, if your body needs to release, don't hold it in. <laughs> That's just how I see it. But a lot of people, because it's it's got to do with emotions and whatever it is, you suppress some some of you suppress crying so much that you don't even know how to cry anymore and then you're you're just like wondering why you feel this way wondering why this and that why things are going wrong in your in in your life on your 3d it's because your subconscious mind knows to put you into situations where you are going to have to be forced to cry if you don't take the time out to cry so that you can release make space for the new basically feel all of your emotions if you need to feel them but some of you have a perception where i don't know if some of you feel like uh, you know crying means that you failed or crying means that you you lost or crying means that you're weak or crying crying means it's 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 ridiculous you cannot cry forever everything passes by right even you feeling pain I think the problem with most people in the world right now is that they are so afraid of feeling their own pain that the pain like stuck within their body you're afraid of feeling and I know it's painful some people can't can't take the pain so much or can't take the pain so much to the point where you know it pushes them over the edge and you start doing like pe people who suppress either you get diseases and if you if you don't get diseases then you start it, it, it becomes anger sadness built up becomes anger right and when you're angry you're out there angry at others you know I've, I've heard so many stories about people and and because I've I used to work in the nightlife and night you, you know and people every single day they go out to drink they they drink because they want to you know relax and relax that's why <laughs> relax right when you're drinking and you know uh what but what you're nest actually doing is you're suppressing whatever it is and once they get so drunk once people get so drunk all this anger and all these things start drudging up you know <laughs> and you start doing stupid things you know you you do things that you wouldn't normally do if you were sober you do things like yeah, you, you, you get yourself into all sorts of situations. <coughs> I don't know if I'm talking to a masculine here. 
someone who is more in their masculine energy, right? Crying is not weakness. And you know, that's why sometimes, um, this is my theory anyways, women, their strength lies in the ability to, to, you know, carry more of these emotions. Women have a higher tolerance for emotional pain. I think men have a higher tolerance for physical pain. That's what I see anyways. I mean, I mean, that's, that's, I'm generalizing, but that's, that's how I see it, you know? But if you need to cry, then your body was designed for you to be able to release these emotions. So trust your body when, if you're feeling a little bit, you know, weepy or whatever it is. Your subconscious knows, like, it, it, it all starts with you from your thoughts first, you know? If, if there is anger or sadness or whatever that's, that's, still, that's still in your subconscious mind or still, yeah, still there, running around rampant in your subconscious mind, it is going to be reflected outwards to you, okay? There's no harm in you taking some time out to cry. Yeah, okay. So let's see what you got. Nurture, oh my God, oh my God, what was I saying? Nurture, nurture yourself. When you are crying, when you cry with yourself, when you cry for yourself, when you cry, you are nurturing yourself. What is nurturing? Nurturing yourself is loving yourself, being there for yourself, okay? If you allow yourself to cry, then you, you are being there for yourself. Nurture. That's cancer, okay? Oh my God, look at this. Compassion. You are having compassion for yourself when you cry. You're showing yourself compassion. That's the door to your... your Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about masculine here. There's something about a masculine, maybe, yeah, from childhood, there's something maybe that you're remembering about childhood. I don't know whether you have children or, you know, if you're thinking about your kids or if, if you aren't thinking about your kids, if you don't have kids, then you're, more, you're probably looking back at your childhood and, you know, there's something, it could be something that, that ha might have, you know, hurt you as a, as a kid. And you've you've held on to it so much you've held on to it and you've suppressed it in the depths of your heart okay and it's it's being called to come up at this time to release look at this innovation look at that door I'm seeing that door is this door okay there I think there's going to be a running theme throughout theme <laughs> theme throughout all three pals three okay so yeah we have relationship I'm hearing inner child here memories oh my god what was I saying memories right you were you were you're looking back at memories of the past relationships in the past that you've had you know and we have support dear god i am so right look at this flow flow strength and rest Do you know how good it feels to be right when I look at these cards? Yeah. Anyways, so... <laughs> um, you're, 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 you've been, you know, 
looking back at past memories and you've been feeling nostalgic or maybe you've been feeling like I don't know maybe wronged or the people have wronged you maybe when you were a child relationships you had as a child I don't know maybe you were bullied or maybe you were abandoned maybe you were neglected okay it says here spoon feeding a baby deliver care and encouragement to yourself and others nurture is showing love through action take initiative to support other people or fo focus on showing compassion to yourself either way these nurturing actions will vitalize you look at that you're showing compassion to yourself by letting your emotions flow and the more you let your emotions flow you're going to see that it's going to help you with your 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 will your strength your inner strength okay um, to be able to look back at memories and have not have them hurt you anymore you know open the door to your heart opening yourself to other people and their feelings can lend you great compassion but it can also leave you exposed ensure you have healthy boundaries but let kindness imbue your actions with passion and purpose compassion makes the world better so you are showing compassion of yourself that's pisces energy right there so cancer pisces and aquarius is coming out here you might have these placements in your charts sun moon rising venus north node and spirit is saying what you need to know most about yourself right now is you need rest to let your emotions flow and once you allow this door right to open and let your emotions flow you're going to see like once you have drained yourself of these of crying okay <laughs> of crying you're going to see things differently that's what I'm hearing your perception on what has happened in the past is going to change and from there where you are going with innovation here a gate flies open oh my god it's just I love how number two the way it's all just um, lining up blue greens I'm hearing blue you're 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 moving in from blue greens into more fiery colors with strength here Once that dam has opened, right, you're going to find your strength underneath all that stagnant water. A gate flies open. When a gate that was closed opens with no warning, one must be in the right place at the right time to step through. When new ideas emerge, open your mind to receive them, else they will recede unnoticed or unremembered. Okay, so with innovation, look, look at this. This is the door to your heart that flies open. And there's something in there that you are going to find after you release all of these emotions. And it's got something to do with your strength to move forwards after a time of rest. Support here. You're going to, you're going to see that you're going to be so proud of yourself that you were able to support yourself through all of this, through whatever pain you've put, you, I'm not saying you put yourself through, but through whatever, it might not even be that, that painful, you know, like it's not like, maybe it's not necessarily like such painful memories for some of you. Yes, because you need strength. You need some strength to, to, to release these emotions, right? To let these emotions flow. But maybe you're you're being a little bit hard on yourself. Don't don't do that to yourself. Show compassion to yourself. Be there for yourself. If someone you loved was crying to you, would you like tell them to stop crying and suppress it? I wouldn't. And you are going to be supported when this door flies open. 
a gate flies open. And you need lots of rest at this time. So stop being hard on yourself. If you, if you need to chill, if you need to rest, if you need to take time away from people, it's okay. Give yourself that time. You give yourself that time. You don't, as I was saying in pile number one, I think maybe some of you came from pile number one or you're about to watch the pile number one, but I was saying like, you don't answer to anyone but yourself. When you are sovereign, when you are, you know, creating your reality, you don't answer to no one but yourself and the God within you. Okay? The sun and the star. The sun and the star is in your heart. And it's been, it's, 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 it's almost like you've drowned. You've you've drowned your sun and your stars in a depth of stagnant water and now this water is meant to flow and once you allow that that's where you're going to find your strength okay and you're going to look back at these memories and you're going to see them differently. They're not going to be painful for you anymore. Some of you, it's got to do with relationships, familial relationships, or something about, you know, I don't know, some of you might be, if you are parents, then you might feel like, you know, you failed as parents or something, or you, you, you're not doing good enough, or you're, you're being hard on yourself as a parent, or, if not, then it could be, it's got something to do with your, your younger self and the things that you've experienced at, when you were younger. When you were a lot younger, when you didn't understand, I'm hearing human nature, you know, and relationships and all that. But you will be supported. You will support yourself. You're going to see that you'll be able to support yourself through allowing yourself to feel these emotions. And I'm not going to. I'm not saying it's it's going to be easy, but it doesn't have to be hard either. okay to feel your emotions okay so that's what you should know about yourself pile number two i'm going to end the reading there thank you so much for coming to my reading i hope that reading resonated with you if it didn't resonate with you you can go ahead and choose another pal if it did resonate with you remember to like comment share subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading for me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for the comments for every single thing i truly appreciate each and every single one of you and i will see you in my next video okay bye hi pal number three let's get this pal santo going first and then we can get into your pal you guys chose reflection I don't know why I just heard beauty. Beauty. You're looking very, very um, good at this time. Pile number three. You should know that about yourself. You look good. Your eyes. I'm being drawn to the eyes through the, the, the mirror here. So you're very magnetic at this time. Pal number three, reflection. You are magnetic with this, you know, this, this mirror, it looks like a mirror made out of a uh, shell <clears throat> and pearls. 
I think I don't know why I just heard like you have your your you're glowing right now. You're glowing. You look good. You're feeling good. You're feeling sexy. Maybe some of you are you know experiencing. <laughs> I'm hearing experiencing mirror vainness where you like looking at yourself. Like you look you look at you in the mirror and you're like, oh my god, you look so good. Oh my god, you look so fucking gorgeous. You are so stunning. Okay. Reflection. I keep hearing that. I, I, I'm seeing someone look in the mirror. Like some of you might have been doing mirror work for self concept, you know, telling yourself uh, things in the mirror. Someone here has a lisp. Lisp. Someone here has a lisp. It's a cute lisp. Okay, if you don't like your lisp, learn to love it. It's cute. Someone thinks it's cute. Reflection. There are people, there are a lot of people who are drawn to you at this time, okay? You are magnetizing. You are magnetized and you are magnetic. You are... Yeah, I keep hearing that. Magnetic. And you're feeling very abundant this time. With the pearls here, it's like someone who... I don't know, feels, feels like, like, I don't know, I'm hearing like everything's working out in your favor, everything's feeling good, you know, you're feeling good, you, you like yourself, pal number three, <laughs> you're, I'm seeing someone look in the mirror and say like, I like you, I like you, I like you, okay? And if you're not seeing that, you should be. Go walk up to a mirror and tell yourself, I like you, I like you a lot, okay? We have expansion, that is Jupiter. Um, expansion, Jupiter, Sagittarius energy. We have Scorpio, okay, with uh, forgiveness. I mean, I'm letting go of everything. I let go of everything in the past. For, forgiveness. You, yeah. Maybe you've been able to forgive your past recently. Maybe you've gone through the the process of being able to forgive something or someone in in your whatever it is that you you feel that has been or whoever that's wronged you. And we have Aquarius inspiration or indifference right we have male male we have obstacles and we have delays look at that Five four five five. Four five five. I don't know. I just had to say that. Four five 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 four five. Maybe you you've been seeing five five five. Okay, we have uh, magic. Happiness. Gorgeous. Wait. So magic happiness and confidence right well look at that pal number three you're in a good place in your life right now you can let out a long exhale like your higher self is literally applauding you at this time you have managed to expand like your energy has expanded your magical abilities right has expanded with magic expansion and meal here you're going to receive some really good news magical news soon right okay a hot air balloon a hot air balloon ascends when you find and follow your truth you take off your values can inspire you and and defining your unique philosophies can help you expand for 
<coughs> Focus on your own optimism and you may come to believe that anything is possible. You might want to affirm this. I love affirming this. Anything is possible for me here and now. I now attain the easily unattainable. I now easily, <laughs> sorry, I now easily attain the unattainable. Oh my God. Okay. I now easily attain the unattainable. What was it again? Anything is possible for you here and now. Anything is possible for you here and now. I now easily attain the unattainable. Yeah, you can affirm that to yourself, okay? And maybe you have. Maybe you've been doing a lot of affirmations. Yeah, mirror affirmations, like telling yourself, telling your reflection, you can fucking do it. I believe in you. You're amazing. I like you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. You know, telling yourself these things. And... You are coming into, you're going to receive some sort of news that is going to bring you so much happiness. And you're already, you're already experiencing like a lot of like little manifestations, you know, things that, you know, these, these, like, it's almost like you're, you're finding things that are constantly making you happy. I know you're not deliberately finding them. It's almost like you're just you know, flowing and stumbling upon things that make you happy. And you're letting go. It's like you're, you're letting, you can let go of a long exhale. You, you, you can, you can s breathe a sigh of relief because something is going to help you overcome whatever obstacle that you are experiencing at this moment. You're going to, you're going to receive something in the mail that is going to make you feel elated, right? either mail, text message, um, something, okay? This is something that's going to inspire you. You might have been feeling like you've been delayed or something, or something has been moving a little bit slow, right? But you sitting in this confidence, and I'm hearing living in the end, okay? These are for my law of assumptioners out there, okay? Living in the end, being confident that you know, I'm already on top. I'm already there. I am already there. Okay? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love the energy of this pal. You are feeling magical. You are experiencing everyday magic. You are genuinely happy and confident within yourself. You're confident with... your reflection yeah and look at her she's she feels like she's like on top of the mountains but then she's literally floating on top of the mountains you know and again you know expansion and and, and um, elevation with the hot air balloon here a figure levitates above a mountain top when you feel inspired it is as if you're being lifted on air inspiration can carry you far but being lifted above can also symbolize a type of detachment indifference or apathy it, you know you might you might f have felt in the past that you were feeling careless or apathy but it's not and and it's maybe that has created that's why it's created a little bit of delays for you okay I'm ready to love you. I don't know if some of you are, I don't know, manifesting love into your life. You're ready to love. You're ready to love again. Yeah. You've been able to detach and you are in that space of detachment from any outcome. Because you're genuinely, you know, feeling like, I don't know, there's something about feeling on top of the world, confident, knowing you can do it. Pep 
talking yourself. That's what I'm hearing. You've been doing a lot of pet talks on yourself. <laughs> yeah. You're going to receive something, a, a, a message, whatever it is, a text message. If you want to know what this is about, if you pick this path, then you might want to get a personal reading done from me because this is going to, you know, go all sorts of ways for many types of people, right? You can um, breathe a sigh of relief, all right? Your obstacles are coming to the, to an end. Your delays are also coming to an end. You need to have confidence in this. You are already living in the end, so fucking stay there. Stay there. Stay there. And it will be reflected back to you on the 3D. You are magical, pal number three. You need to know this about yourself. You need to understand this about yourself. You are magic. You. You are the source of magic in your life. A long exhale. Let go of the air in your lungs and exhale fully. What else are you ready to let go of? Once you set forgiveness in motion, you can stop focusing on the projected outcome of a situation. Yeah, you're, you're, no, longer, you're no longer focused on the outcome. And you're allowing it to take its own course. And you're experiencing magic right now. If not, you're going to be experiencing this very soon. Gorgeous. Pile number three. I'm going to end the reading there. Thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading for me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for every single thing. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you, and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.